Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 15th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about operators in SQL and specifically about arithmetic operators. So what are operators? The symbols that you see on the screen uh, in the first bullet, you know, the addition symbol, the subtraction symbol, multiplication, division, and then, you know, if you want to perform uh, operations such as finding out which number is uh, lesser, you know, uh, if you have two numbers and if you find out if you have to find out which number is the lesser of the two or which number is the you know greater of the two or uh, you know whether two numbers are equal or not so if you want to perform all those kinds of tests then you have to use operators right and operators are the symbols that you use to perform you know operations such as you know addition multiplication subtraction when you're talking about arithmetic operations and uh, you know finding out you know which quantity is what in comparison to some other quantity you know when you're talking about relational uh, operators or relation operations right so the operators in SQL are generally used with the where clause and uh, obviously you know when you would use the relational operators you would be limiting the uh, number of rows that you would obtain in the result set right so operators are used to limit the number of rows that you get in the output so there are four kinds of operators that we have in SQL arithmetic operators comparison logical and reverse operators and we're going to check all of them out right so we're going to start with arithmetic operators and uh, we have five arithmetic operators available for use in sql these are the addition subtraction multiplication division and modular division operators right and uh, i'll talk about what modular division is those of you who have uh, you know a background in programming would be knowing uh, what the percentage operator does but those of you who don't know just relax uh, we're going to see it in action in just a minute right so for this tutorial i'm not going to use the mysql workbench instead i'm going to use the command line client and i'll be doing this every once in a while because uh, you know it's it's always nice to be accustomed to both environments right the command line interface as well as the gui interface because we don't know what uh, you know our organization might ask us to work on you know if, if you're thinking about finding a job in sql then you should be equally proficient uh, you know in both the environment so next we're going to check out all these operators so i have my mysql command line client here and uh, the prompt is currently asking me for my password so i'm going to type in that when i press the enter key i get the welcome message and uh, i also get the mysql you know uh, prompt wherein i can type in my commands and the way I'm going to demonstrate the commands to you guys is by using the select command that we checked out in the previous tutorial. So let's say you want to add two quantities, right? So the first thing that you'll have to do is type in the keyword select, right? And then the quantities that you have to add along with the addition operator, right? So if I have to add five and 10, I'll type in five and then the addition symbol and 10. I'm putting in space characters around the addition operator. That's not necessary, right? But I'm just putting in that so that, uh, you know, it's easy for you to understand. So when I press the enter key now, I get in the result set 5 plus 10 is 15, right? And if I want to subtract, uh, let's say 5 from 10, then I'd use the subtraction operator, put in a semicolon, press the enter key, and I get 5 again. And then uh, if I want to multiply 5 and 10, again the first uh, operand and then uh, you know the operation operator which is the asterisk symbol in this case and then the second operand and the semicolon in the enter key gives us 5 times 10 is 50 and then if i divide 10 by 5 i'll have to use the division operator and when i press the enter key i get the result is 2 now the last operator the last arithmetic operator that we're going to talk about is the modular division operator and what that allows you to do is it allows you to find the remainder when you divide one quantity by another right so let's say you're dividing 10 by 5 in that case the remainder is 0 because 5 perfectly divides 10 but if you're dividing a number that doesn't uh, you know get perfectly divided by you know the um, what do you call divisor then you know in that case you'll have some number left as the remainder so the modular division operator or the percentage symbol allows you allows us to find that you know remainder value so if you are dividing uh, let's say 10 by 3 right so let me first get in the percentage symbol as my modular division operator and if i type in 3 and put in the semicolon and press the enter key i get the remainder as 1 right and this is because 3 times 3 is 9 and you know 9 plus 1 is 10 so when you divide 10 by 3 you get a remainder value of 1 
So these are the five arithmetic operators and we'll be using them quite often in lots of different ways in the you know future tutorials. So I hope you guys had fun watching this one and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'll see you soon.